What's up guys and today we got team of the week Melvin Gordon a 90 overall ankle breaker chemistry. 6 foot 1, 91 speed, 92 agility, 91 ball carry, 93 juke, 82 truck, 89 carry, 90 excel and 92 elusiveness. Now he does also have a 93 spin so in terms of the stats man a very elusive back not the best power back of course with only an 82 truck and 86 stiff arm but the first thing that popped out to me right away you know just immediately was the speed man 91 speed is very fast obviously so as you can see here when he takes off it's very very tough to catch him in the open field but unfortunately not impossible you see right here man just staying on his feet and have people dive at dive at his feet this right here was was the only time where someone actually caught him from behind and you see right here it wasn't enough because he still somehow broke the tackle and scored the touchdown so if you want to run with him you know between the tackles or bounce to the outside it's up to you because believe me the guy is going to get yards either way now to my surprise he actually got a few uh trucking animations which was a, a bit surprising stiff arming was a different story stiff arming for whatever reason i got like one drag everything else would just fail so not the best uh stiff arming running back but when it came to breaking tackles, he was pretty decent at this. Not the best, unfortunately, but he had his moments. And like I said earlier, running between the tackles is a very good option with Gordon because he can't just zigzag his way through and get chunks of yards at a time. Sometimes, like this right here, 15 to 16 yards. Sometimes only 7 or 8, but still, you know, very nice yards. And when it came to catching the ball, he did unfortunately drop a few of them, you know, wide open passes. But overall i'd say he was an okay pass catcher but definitely not something i think i would lean on like in a clutch situation now this part of his game did worry me and that was his carry rating he only took like four hit sticks and like three strip uh strip animation attempts and he did actually fumble three times this right here was the strip animation i was referring to earlier i believe this was a hit stick so he did not fumble every single game or anything like that but I mean this was a bit worrisome so if you want to be safe you know just cover the ball though as far as the bad plays of course he had his moments you know he wasn't always breaking off huge runs he was going down the first hit a few times but as far as struggle points I would say the stiff arm was the only thing that I could not get going on a consistent basis and catching I mean look at this right here this was an easy six and he let me down and it should be no surprise that turning him into an elusive back is the best way you see right here man he did have a nice spin got some nice animations here and there and got some nice yards from it but overall no doubt about it man the juke is where it's at with melvin gordon from what i can tell man a nasty juke for the longest time i said that jamal charles was the best elusive back in the game but you know what man i think jamal charles just might take that title away from him because his juke was nasty i don't think i failed a single time trying to juke with jamal Char i mean uh melvin gordon i definitely failed a uh, failed a few times with jamal charles with the juke you know where i try to juke someone and it just doesn't work not the case with Gordon so guys as always if you pick him up you can use him however you want to but I say lean on the juke first like this and then use the speed to get more yards so all in all guys a great elusive back next to a Jamal Charles and as far as his price he does go for like 110 between 110 and 120 and I'm sure of course as time goes on his price will obviously just keep dropping so I know most people don't juke and spin anymore but if you're one of those few people who do try to juke and spin obviously Gordon is one of the best running backs to do it with so and of course even if, even if you don't want to use him for juking and spinning just use him for his speed just take off like I did in the beginning of the video and just get yards that way but anyways guys that's gonna wrap this up my next review is going to be uh, like I said Paul Krause I'll do, my I'll do my best to get that review out tonight and as far as offense i'm not sure yet i'm still debating what i'm going to re a review on offense but anyways guys i'll let you know who that's going to be soon if you liked what you saw don't forget to like to spread awareness comment to voice your opinion subscribe so you'll be up to date with the content when it drops and i will see y'all boys later peace